So, you want a live stream on YouTube? Well, you've come to the right place. So, this is what you need. OBS Studio. So, type in OBS Studio in your search bar. And that will bring up this page. So, click on OBS and choose your operating system. So, if you're on Windows, Linux or Mac. And then, once it's installed, open up OBS Studio. So the first step to set up OBS is going into the settings at the bottom right hand corner which will open up a window and the first tab we want to go on is general which you can set your language or you got your theme so you can set your theme whichever theme you want I like the yammy so I'll stick with yammy you want to make sure that this box here has been checked because then if there's a new update it will update automatically then if you want to record your stream you click on this box here automatic record when streaming now the rest of this we can skip this because i don't use this bit down here so we go on to stream tab and you want to click here and choose the service you want to stream to so youtube that's me and then you can basically it will ask you to connect and you just go through the connection process to your channel so now we go over to the output page and this is the most important one so if this says a simple you change it to advanced and underneath the streaming settings you got audio track so i always click on number one because that is my streaming track now on the encoder setting you have options to use your graphic card or you can use your cpu but if you've got a good graphic card i would suggest to use your graphic card yeah leave rescale output alone uh, rate control cbr now i have my streaming bit rate at 5500 now that is quite low actually but it works so I'm happy with that. And the quality of the stream is pretty good. Keyframe intervals. I leave that on two seconds. Preset. Uh, I leave it on slow for good quality. Tuning. I have ultra low latency. So I don't know what multipass mode is. So I left that alone. Profile is high. Uh, on here, I just have this one clicked. GPU 0 max B frame 2. Now on the recording setting, I'll leave this on standard. Recording path, set your recording path where you want your videos to be recorded to. Uh, I'll leave mine on MP4. But if anything goes wrong, MP4 videos will get corrupted. Now, if you've got an MKV, you can save them uh, videos, but mp4 works for me so i'm happy with that i have my audio on my recording set to two three four five and six the encoder is set to the graphic card not the cpu rescale output leave it alone custom mixer settings leave it alone automatic file splitting leave it alone uh, encoder settings the cbr i've got my bit rate set at twenty thousand. So my keyframe interval is set at two seconds. Preset is set to P5 slow, good quality. Tuning is set to high quality. Multipass, don't know what that means, but leave it alone. Profile is set to high. Uh, this one's uh, checked. GPU is zero, max B frame is two. Audio, I have it all set to 320. And you can set a replay buffer. So you would enable the replay buffer and put how many seconds you want to save your replays. So that is all you need to know on the output. On the audio, this is where you will set your system. So desktop audio, you would put your system, whatever audio is your main audio. Now, if you've got a microphone like a headphone microphone, you would put that on. If you've got a normal desktop microphone, you'll find your microphone in this drop down. And uh, I've got a Go XLR, so that's why I've got all these settings. Okay, I, I just leave everything else the way it is.
So you go on to video. My base resolution is 1920 by 1080. Now you can reduce that to the 1280 by 720. I stream at 60 meg, uh, 60 FPS per second. Hotkeys. Now this is where you can control things in your stream, like turning the stream on and off with hotkeys. You can have uh, things show up on stream, like sources. You can have them pop up in the stream with a hotkey. If you've got a, a stream deck, you can use your stream deck instead of hotkeys, which is pretty good. Accessibility, you can change your color to different things. I leave that alone. Advanced, I have my processor priority to normal. I would leave that. Everything else is all set to normal. Stream delay, if you want to have a stream delay, I don't touch that. Uh, you want definitely want to put your automatically reconnect. So it will try to reconnect if you do uh, lose signal. And that's it. That is all you need to know about how to set up OBS. So I do hope that this video has helped. And if it has, please give it a massive like and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it or not. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Devil, devil.